We're gonna start this recipe by putting a whole thing of pasta onto a bed of spinach. Karate chop that. Next, I'm gonna take some of this mozzarella cheese. I know I said that right. We're gonna put this down over the pasta and make sure you evenly spread this out. And let me tell you guys, this stuff is so good when it's fresh. We had this wonderful extra virgin olive oil. We go ahead and take this and we're gonna sprinkle this all over this dish. And I come in with some fresh pepper to taste and some salt to taste. And you can always add more salt later. Take some of this fresh garlic, put it in the garlic press. And then we just go ahead and squeeze that on. Okay, it's about that much. And what pairs great with fresh garlic, some fresh basil. So we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle some of that fresh basil on there. And you guess it, some organic fresh oregano. So good, a good amount on there, just, you know, whatever you like. Next, we have these two glasses of cherry tomatoes. We're gonna go ahead and just dump those on and then kind of spread those out evenly with your hand. If you never tried this before, this tomato puree, it is amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and dump about a healthy amount, just covering it completely up with the tomato paste. But wait, there's more. We got that fresh ragota cheese. So we're gonna go ahead and take a nice ice cream scoop of ragota. And again, we're gonna evenly spread the ragota cheese out. But we're not done yet. The oven's preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and we have some water because this stuff's got to cook. So we're just gonna go ahead and dump about, I would call it about a cup of water in there. And we'll pop this into the oven at 350 degrees. Okay, it's been in the oven for 40 minutes at 350 degrees. Now we're gonna go ahead and take these tongs and we're just gonna go ahead and mix the spaghetti up, combining everything together. And oh my gosh, you guys, does this look heavenly? I don't know how else to put it. But once we get this mixed together, we're gonna let it cool off a little bit because as you can see, it's still bubbling. The ragota cheese, the mozzarella cheese, the spinach, the basil, the tomatoes. Doesn't get much more Italian than this. So once it looks kind of like this and it's cooled off a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and take a nice little serving. Look at that. And I'm gonna get some of those tomatoes on there because I love me some tomatoes. But we're not done yet. We have this amazing Parmesan cheese. We're gonna sprinkle that on because you gotta go with Parmesan when you do this spaghetti dish. The classic, the classic Italian twirl. That's what I like to call it. And give this recipe a shot. I know you're gonna love it. The whole family's gonna love it. Super easy to make. Mm. Cooked perfectly. This is so good, you guys. You have to try this.